Hey everybody, it's Dr. Kim Doramo, founder of the American Institute of Mind-Body Medicine, and I'm very, very excited to share this with you and create this video um, that's really all about transcending the emotional scale of like feeling good, not feeling good, trying to be positive, trying not to be negative, um, and being on this like emotional roller coaster of self-help and really emerging into what I call pure freedom, pure love, pure awareness. And you could call it bliss, but there's a lot of ideas about what that means. So I'm gonna share this with you as a way to assist you in moving beyond sort of being captive to like, I'm an empath, I feel everything so intensely, and I'm like, wow, I'm bombarded by all these energies, to really living in the ease, the, the true freedom um, of your true nature and the ease and the harmony that comes from that is what allows our bodies to thrive physically and release patterns of chronic illness and resistance with that fatigue pain autoimmune disease and also allows us to receive so much more from life with relationships being in harmony or um, purpose and passion in our work finding meaning um, with uh, feeling love for the body and having harmony with um, just being in the body, harmony with money, all of the things that make the physical experience so enjoyable really come from integrating this understanding. So moving beyond the positive negative of self-help, I know for me this was like massive because it was years of this like improve, improve. I know I want more from life and moving into true serenity. So I'm very excited for uh, being able to share this with you and what it means for yourself, for your abundance and your health. Now you might be familiar with the emotional scale. A lot of people who um, find the work I'm doing are very familiar with the emotional scale of like, I wanna feel good and joy and love and freedom and that's in the top, being positive. And then down here in the bottom is like fear, shame, resentment, hatred. So what we try to do is like climb the ladder. And a lot of the tools I've shared are really great for allowing us to do that. And as we move into these higher spaces, it does get reflected in our physical body, um, the hormones that are related with this, um, endorphins and releasing stress hormones when we come into these higher stages. And I've written about this in the Mind Body Toolkit to share kind of how we move into these higher states and what that means physiologically and chemically and what's happening in your brain and how that changes everything in your physical world. But it's not about playing with this and getting stuck here and like avoiding these lower levels of fear and shame or anger. You know, we come up a little higher on the scale as frustration and then we move into like boredom and contentment and then optimism and then up to joy, love and freedom. It's not about this rat race of being positive or feeling better or avoiding feeling bad. What allows so much more and is really such a key to true living and true freedom, um, and, and, and that is the breakthrough so many of us are about to have and, and, and currently undergoing, is when we integrate um, really allowing all of these energies. So instead of climbing the emotional scale and moving through trying to feel better and not feel bad, we actually move into embracing all of it. So what is the true pathology that happens in our body with like stress chemicals or anger eating away at your liver and toxifying your body and all the systems breaking down because there's these stuck emotions is resistance. So it's not the anger or the fear it's resistance to these energies. Now, it's a lot less resistance that comes up with love and joy and freedom, and a lot more resistance that comes up with these lower energies of anger, fear, resentment, shame, we get embarrassed, we hide. It's the resistance that keeps the energy stuck. Emotions are just energy moving through your body. It is perfectly healthy to feel and embrace anger to feel and allow fear. I know for me, it's been one of the most liberating things to just embrace the fear that I've held in my body from old conclusions, old experiences, things I've been taught about myself or about the world that were not really aligned with pure freedom, aligned with my true nature. 
when I embraced those things and released the resistance, it allowed that energy to move. And it was one of the most powerful experiences, you know, it didn't happen all at once, that has created so much more possibility in my life, in my relationship, um, money, business, um, just the freedom I have. And so it's not the fear, it's the resistance to the fear. It's not the anger, it's resisting the anger. This is what totally toxifies the body and it holds disease in place. In fact, as I've written in the Mind Body Toolkit, and so many times I've talked about in my work, every major chronic illness that most people are dying from is related to this process of like resisting these energies in our body. So we hold them in, they create inflammation and toxicity and the stress hormones go haywire and it overruns the adrenals and the digestive system can't work and like everything gets short circuited. Of course, you can go to like every practitioner known to man to try to heal it at the physical level. But if you can release resistance, so there's fluidity to allowing energy to move in this form, we're talking about emotional energy. You transcend this roller coaster of climbing the scale and you move into this whole other space of possibility. This is where there's pure love, pure freedom. Um, true prosperity, true freedom. And when we exist in this space, there's harmony. Harmony is what allows the body to be healthy, not the absence of bacteria or fungus or bad genetics. Harmony is what allows the body's healing mechanism to kick in. And harmony is what gets created when we, when we embrace all of what we are. Like I always say, paint with all the colors, allow myself to be like, I am so angry and witness that moment of like, oh my God, there's so much coming up for me right now with appreciation instead of with resistance. Resistance is what creates the toxicity. It's what has the anger hold in all of that, all of those chemicals and hormones and everything gets halted and you get sick. People die from this kind of illness or just suffer for many, many years before they do. It's the resistance to these lower energies. So can I embrace my fear? Can I embrace my anger? Can I embrace all these things I don't like and I don't want to feel, especially like despair, right? This is, whoa, really hard to embrace because it feels like it will keep us stuck there forever. There are myths that keep us in resistance, like... If I embrace it, it will never get better. I have to fight it. Or this idea, um, it has to come from me. Like if I let go, there's not gonna be serenity. If I let go, all hell's gonna break loose. I have to fight, I have to go. These are all the things that keep us stuck and keep us sick. And I've seen it so many times in people I've worked with and with myself every day, that as I release resistance and embrace all of it, what, how, no matter how many, how heavy, and, and, and despairing that energy feels, when I'm willing to embrace it, the energy moves. And then there's a restoration of harmony. Sometimes it's immediate, sometimes it takes a few moments <laughs> or a few days, but always it opens me to way, 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 way more possibility. So um, there's a lot I've talked about in the weekly Facebook Lives or in um, videos that I've done on my website it's drkimd.com for those of you who are interested. Um, but this was such a huge key. And for me, moving beyond the like struggle for more, the struggle for better, the struggle to feel better. Like, I don't want to feel these things. I want to feel these things. So that creates more resistance. Um, I'm going to share in next week's Facebook Live, um, which will be, oh, we're in November right now for whatever you're watching this, if you want to go back to that. Um, specifically about the five blocks to this level of harmony that, that really keep us stuck here in this like rat race of the scale and climbing the ladder that block us from embracing what we can really have, what is our, our true nature, what allows the body to thrive. And for me, I lived in that space for a long time, trying to like read more, learn more, figure it out, get better and stay in this space. But it's like, you know what? We don't need to do that. We really can embrace all of it and have a very beautiful, harmonic experience of all the energies that can come in and come out 
Um, especially if you've considered yourself an empath, this is what helped me move beyond being like a victim empath into being like um, a powerful woman who is incredibly sensitive as a contribution and in a way that isn't toxic or painful or uncomfortable or constantly being bombarded, but to move into because of compassion, right? Embracing all of these spaces with compassion that you move into a higher state of bliss, you move into a higher state of harmony. So you can move through all of the energies and be unaffected. Like you're not getting hit with this. And oh my God, I'm feeling everyone's pain. This is something I've seen really, really commonly in the people that I've assisted um, who are chronically ill, chronic fatigue syndrome, chronic severe pain, um, autoimmune illness and inflammation, trying so hard to like have the right supplement or change their diet or do the right thing that's gonna help them feel better, but it's coming from an escape. Like I am a victim to all these energies. I've gotta help myself feel better. This allows us to transcend that. Very, very powerful. So stay tuned for more because um, pretty much everything I'm sharing is part of this equation of how do we integrate this? How do we become a fully experiencing, fully sensitive human being who experiences all of it from pure love and compassion so that we stay here, we reside here. It's called neutrality, where over here is duality, good and bad, right and wrong, positive, negative, and over here we're in the neutrality. That, that's not the neutrality of uh, like mediocre, uh, mess and mess and not so good, not so bad. It's neutral. Um, it's a different kind of neutrality that really is the expression of bliss, allowing all things, inviting all things, and being in harmony with all that is and all that I am. That is the key to health, to true vibrant health, to joyful living, to receiving the abundance that life has for us, to being in harmony in our relationships, and to existing in this physical world in the most fruitful way. So thank you for being here. I welcome your comments and questions. I can be found at drkimd.com and on Facebook, it's Dr. Kim Duramo. So if you'd like to tune in there, I have the Mind Body community and there's lots of um, discussions related to this kind of stuff. I would love to assist you further. Sharing so much love with you for all of us awakening into neutrality and true freedom. See you soon.